You know what? I'm starting to think that the San Jose Sharks are going to be a problem because they have just acquired Yaroslav Askarov from the Nashville Predators in a huge 3-3 three, three asset trade. I say 3-3, three, three, three assets going over to San Jose, three assets coming over to Nashville. It's a six asset trade in total. And... It provides some very, very good excitement for the San Jose Sharks fan base. Before we even dive into the trade, just think about this. They grab themselves Macklin Celebrini. They grab themselves Tyler Toffoli. They have young defensemen in the pipeline. Lots of guys coming over here. And now they have the best goaltending prospect in the NHL. Here are the full trade details as per Frank Saravelli, the San Jose Sharks are receiving Yaroslav Askarov, Nolan Burke, and a 2025 third round pick. All of this in exchange for David Edstrom, a Vegas 2025 first round pick that's top 10 protected, and goaltender Magnus Krona. David Edstrom was the 32nd overall pick in 2023, and here is the protection info. The San Jose Sharks will have the choice of either their pick or Vegas's if it's in the top 10 in 2025. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, wait a minute. David Edstrom, he's already on his third team. That's a really, really interesting part of this trade. I'm pretty sure he was sent over to San Jose from Vegas in the Tomas Hurdle trade, if I'm correct about that. Let's see this right here uh yeah san jose sharks acquired 2025 first round pick and center david edstrom from the vegas golden knights and this was indeed yes the tomash hurdle trade so yeah there you go david edstrom and a 2025 first that's what san jose acquired for hurdle it seems like both of those assets are now going over to nashville in exchange for yaroslav askarov essentially if you wanted to cut and paste the returns for everything here, the San Jose Sharks got rid of Tomas Hurdle's contract and the assets they got for Hurdle, they sent over with Magnus Krona to receive Yaroslav Askarov, Nolan Burke, and a 2025 third. That is some really, really tidy business there on behalf of the San Jose Sharks. The San Jose Sharks are becoming a problem, baby. And look, we had been making this entire video. It's been three minutes already. We haven't even talked about Yaroslav Askarov. I mean, what else is there to say? He's the best goaltending prospect in the National Hockey League. He wanted an NHL role right away. Scott Wedgwood got re-signed in Nashville. UC Soros got re-signed in Nashville. Askarov said, hey, I'm not going to the AHL. I'm too good for that league. I want to play in the NHL. Even if it is in a backup position, Yaroslav Askarov wanted NHL job security. The Nashville Predators would not have been able to provide him that. This previous season, he had a 9-11 save percentage in 44 games in the AHL and a 9-4-3 in the two NHL games he had played with the regular Nashville Predators. The Preds just did not have any room for Askarov on their team after making the signings that they did. Very questionable progress with the way they decided to utilize their goaltending situation. And as a result, Askarov, he was kind of pissed off. So now heading over to San Jose, he will be essentially fighting it out for that top spot. I mean, look, the San Jose Sharks are not really going to be the best team in net this upcoming season, so this is like the perfect situation for a guy like Yaroslav Askarov to come in, show his worth, and say, hey, I actually can play NHL minutes, and I'm going to prove to you on this team that I can do that. It's Askarov, Nolan Burke, and a 2025 third. Let's talk about the asset here. Nolan Burke, 21 years old, 6'1", 185, left-handed center, free agent signee out of the Nashville Predators Milwaukee system. He played in the ECHL this most previous year with the Atlanta Gladiators, 47 games and 15 points. Not really somebody that moves the needle all too much, more so just a guy that 
was added on here for the sake of balancing out the contracts. If Nolan Burke does become some sort of an NHL prospect down the line, he becomes an effective AHL player, then okay, great for him. I'm not going to say that it is impossible, but it's difficult to project guys who are in the ECHL who produce like this into actually having significant AHL or NHL playing time at some point down the line. He was a really good OHL guy as an overage player. It's why he got NHL attention. I mean, he signed a Predators contract. This is an ECHL AHL deal. It's a Nashville Predators deal that has since gotten traded over to the San Jose Sharks. But of course, the Sharks getting Burke and the third round pick. This is okay. Their main value, though, in this trade is Yaroslav Askarov. David Edstrom, as we had talked about, initially drafted by the Vegas Golden Knights, sent over to San Jose in the Tomas Hurdle trade, has now been sent over to Nashville. He is a center himself, 6'3", 190 pound left-handed guy, 19 years old. So a little bit younger than Nolan Burke, a little bit bigger than Nolan Burke. And Edstrom, in this most recent season's worth of play with Frölunda, had 19 points in 44 games played in the SHL, not to mention six points in 14 games in the playoffs. I do feel kind of bad for this guy because he was taken by the best team in the NHL in 2023, drafted by Vegas, then he was traded over to San Jose, and now he's traded over to Nashville. The guy hasn't even stepped foot on North American soil yet to play hockey, so he's just kind of been tossed around there like a hot potato by these teams that just cannot seem to really lock things down when it comes to their prospect pool. So Edstrom, one of the big pieces going over to Nashville alongside of that Vegas first round pick that is top 10 protected. It will be either the Vegas pick or the San Jose pick, depending on what happens in the 2024-2025 season. And then you have the goaltender Magnus Corona, who is going over to Nashville as well. Look, they needed a goaltender to balance things out. They needed a body to fit their AHL system. Magnus Corona is going to be that guy. He apparently does not have any issue with staying in the AHL, so this works out for Nashville as they're going to have Soros and Scott Wedgwood in their NHL system. But Magnus Corona is 23 years old, August 28, 2000, 6'6", 216 left-handed catch and goaltender drafted by the Lightning in the 2018 draft, 152nd overall. He got traded over to San Jose, I'm pretty sure, right? Or is that what happened? Was it the Barclay Goodrow trade? Sharks acquire goaltender Magnus Krona. Let's scroll down here, see what happened. This was the, okay. There you go. Frederick Clayson, excuse me, wrong trade between the Sharks and the Lightning. There have been so many that it's kind of difficult to keep track of, but Magnus Krona heading over to Nashville to balance out the scales and give the Preds AHL team the goaltender that they needed. He had a 940 save percentage in the ECHL, an 84 an 894, excuse me, in the 31 games he played in the AHL, and an 859 in the NHL. So a really, really big year for Magnus Krona going from the NCAA as a senior to playing in the ECHL, AHL, and NHL the very next year. Who knows if he'll get even more time in the NHL this upcoming season, but I kind of doubt it if you project Soros and Wedgwood to being the full-time two guys. But for now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this entire trade going down. Yaroslav Askarov, Nolan Burke, and the 2025 third to San Jose for David Edstrom, a 2025 first, and Magnus Krona. I'd say that the Sharks ended up winning because these two assets right here, these are essentially the assets you got for Tomas Hurdle. So the Predators, I mean, they're getting themselves these assets and the goaltender, it's fine. They knew they were going to have to trade away Askarov because Askarov wanted out. There was really little possibility for them to win this situation. So, I mean, they got what they could have, right? I mean, these assets are kind of worth Tomas Hurdle after all, so I don't want to say they outright lost the trade. But San Jose, I think they definitely came away with a pretty big win here. I want you to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about the Sharks receiving Yaroslav Askarov? I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.